Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So I'm going to do something a little different today. So I just finished watching, re-watching 2014's The Hobbit Battle of the, F Battle of the Five Armies. And mostly for the last three days, I've been re-watching the trilogy. So I'm going to give my thoughts on the whole trilogy. So, the, these movies range from An Unexpected Journey in 2012, then we go to The Desolation of Smaug in 2013, and then The Battle of the Five Armies in 2014. So in it, you're introduced to Bilbo Baggins, who is voiced, who is played, actually, by Martin Freeman. He's a hobbit that just likes to stay in his town, in his house, and just not does not like to be disturbed. He is brought, asked to go on an adventure with a group of dwarves led by Thorn Oakenshield, played by Richard Armitage, and Gandalf replayed by Ian McKellen. And so they go on a quest to try the dwarves to try to reclaim their homeland of Erebor. And along the way they encounter trolls and elves and spiders and orcs. So you get all these different adventures in basically three movies. And I will have to say, this is the prequel trilogy to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Even though it came afterwards. So basically, in, in An Unexpected Journey, you're introduced to Bilbo and the dwarves. And they start on their quest... And it ends with them meeting orcs for the first time. In the second one, you have a cool barrel scene, which I it's the only scene I remember in the book. And I forgot to mention, it's three movies based off one book. So you have that. You also have them finally getting to Erebor, but having to deal with Smaug, who is the huge dragon that has claimed ownership of the kingdom. And in the third one, Battle of the Five Armies, Thorn has kind of gone mad with power. And you are introduced to different armies of orcs and dwarves and man men and elves basically trying to assume power of the gold in terms of thumbs down i think the third one is kind of the weakest one i it, it just seems like at times with that one it, there was just a lot going on, and it just seemed kind of to bog down compared to the other ones. You also were introduced to kind of like a love story in this trilogy that kind of doesn't make sense, but it gets better as it goes along. But those are kind of like my negatives, in a way. As far as positives... I think the cast is good. I think the story overall I like. I like the action. Like I said in the second one, you also get the cool barrel scene with which also includes action. But the biggest thumbs up for me is the look. This this trilogy just like with Lord of the Rings, it looks amazing. This is something that 
if like Universal got the rights to it, would love to see at one of the parks as a land because you know how well it could look. So overall, I'm going to give both 2012's An Unexpected Journey and 2013's The Desolation of Smaug a 4 out of 5. And I'm going to give the 2014's The Battle of Five Armies a 3.5 out of 5. I enjoyed watching this trilogy again. And that is my huge review for the Hobbit trilogy. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fan Z signing off. Have a good night.